Hi guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can control your Hisense TV via your smartphone. Uh, it can be an Apple phone or a Samsung phone running either iOS or Android. So to get started we'll need obviously our smartphone but we'll need to do a few bits on the TV first. The first thing we'll need to do is connect the TV to your wireless network or wired network. Your phone will also need to be on the same network. So commonly your phone and your TV be on your Wi-Fi network. So let's do that first. So to get to these settings we need to press this button here, the square button with the three horizontal lines. This is the quick menu, we need to go to the full settings and we want to go to network and go on to network configuration and it'll ask you network type wired or wireless, select your wireless network and that's that bit done. The next thing we want to do is go down to support, down to system update. If this, if auto firmware is enabled and you've had your TV on your network, your wireless network before, it'll probably keep itself up to date anyway. But if not, and for the purpose of this video, let's just go check firmware upgrade because you might want to do it manually. So it's important to make sure your TV and your phone app is all updated, so the TV is fully updated. Okay. The next step is to go keep on the support page. And we want remote now download. Select this. Now, there's a couple of ways you can get the app on your smartphone. Uh, one sec, I just need to switch my phone. The first way is that you can open the camera up on your phone and scan the QR code. You've obviously got your Android one here, your iOS. Obviously point whichever one you need. The, th the second way is you can literally just search um, Remote Now. The app is called Remote Now. So download this and open it up. And I'll just zoom in here. So once the Remote app is opened, you've accepted the license agreement, you want to go to this top here top icon with the TV icon and your Hisense TV will show up. Now my, my TV is called Hisense Feeder TV you can change that in the settings but um, if it's come up you don't need to. I'm disconnected now I'll disconnect for the moment. The first um, time you connect you press connect like that. A four digit pin will appear on the TV like 5433 five, five, for example you then enter that on your phone and once you've entered that on your phone the TV app is then paired with your Hisense TV so you're ready to go and we'll keep the menu open here so the next, the next, hang on a minute, I just need to switch hand again sorry about that, the next um, point is to click the remote section here and this will bring up the remote uh, it's basically like a software remote, pretty much to the like the on the hardware one here, which is on your phone. Um, and to test it, you can just go, as you can see, as I move up and down, I've got full control. I can turn the volume up, literally by tapping. Everything works as expected. So that that is how you can control your Hisense TV via your smartphone. Um, the, the app has also got an inbuilt, inbuilt keyboard. I'm filming this in April 2022, so the software on the TV and the phone might change, but for the most part it shouldn't. Um, this is a 2018 TV, and it said that the um, now t the Remote Now app, Remote Now for 2018 Hisense TVs. So if you've got a newer or later model, this video may, may or may not work for you. Um, but it should be fine. You've got your all sorts of controls here. You've got an onboard keyboard where you can literally type in things. That's handy for passwords for like Netflix, etc. Instead of typing it in via the, instead of going on the arrows on the remote, you can literally just type it on your phone. That's what's good for. And there's also a mouse control as well. So if you want to use the web browser on the TV, you can do. Right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope that helps anybody who wants to control their Hisense TV via their smartphone. And if you've got any questions or comments, or tips, tips or tricks, um, leave them below. Thanks for watching.